Hi guys, uh, it's a microeconomics lecture on costs for you. Uh, a little review, as you can see, uh, the three total concepts, uh, total cost concepts and the three averages <clears throat> are there. This is a uh, review from the exam you already had, exam number two. So you've got the three totals and the three averages, which the averages are just the uh, totals divided by the quantity of output. So you're averaging over output. Also, we looked at marginal cost, which is the change in your uh, cost of making a little bit more. Now, for most businesses, uh, that would mean one more. You can't make half a computer, or half a shirt, things like that. So most uh, businesses, the smallest amount you could make would be one. And you're uh, doing small incremental uh, adjustments to try to maximize uh, your profit, basically. And uh, so <clears throat> your marginal cost curves are going to look like this. They have a swoosh uh, look. Initially, uh, they usually come down as you start out making things. You can uh, the big uh, help here is uh, specialization that really helps you save on your costs. But eventually, you'll reach a point where uh, you run out of those and you start increasing, and the marginal cost will just keep increasing and increasing, uh, possibly even at a faster and faster rate. <clears throat> so this would be the way marginal costs would look in both the long run and the short run. Um, let me remind you about, going back here, about the difference between long run and short run. Uh, for an economist, the short run is a situation where uh, at least one of your inputs is fixed. It could be two or three or more, but at least one. And then the long run would be a situation where no inputs are fixed. You can get more of things, you can get less of things, you can get rid of them. Um, so, you know, if you needed more ventilators, you could get more ventilators. Um, that would be the long run. So the marginal cost curve will look like that swoosh, whether it's long or short run. I'm going to be emailing this file to you. So you can uh, have the file and print it while you uh, look at the video lecture. So here in the long run is your average total cost. So that's a situation in which uh, all costs are variable. There wouldn't be any fixed costs at all. Uh, everything can be uh, gotten rid of or you can get more of it. So uh, if we average your total cost in a situation like that, um, a lot of the time you'll, you'll see sort of a bowl effect. The downward sloping part of the bowl, that's to the left of point A, is the point where um, bigger is basically cheaper. We call that economies of scale. Another word for it or a phrase for it is increasing returns to scale. Then when uh, the average flattens out, we call that constant returns to scale. Uh, so that's between points A and B. Uh, bigger is not cheaper, but it's not more expensive either. Then to the right of point B, and this is typically caused by that swoosh in the marginal cost going up. It's pulling your costs up. Uh, when your uh, average total cost in the long run is rising, we call that diseconomies of scale or decreasing returns to scale. Um, so the bigger you are, the more expensive it becomes. So some of our industries, a few of them, are, are over here, like the utilities uh, industries. Uh, the bigger you are, the cheaper you can do it. And that's why you only have one left, because the biggest one eats up all the little ones and gets even bigger, and uh, then it eats up the medium-sized ones, and then eventually it's just by itself. And those are situations where we typically have to intervene then and regulate them. They're called monopolies. I believe that's your chapter 13. All right. So um, I think what I'll do 
is I'll end this video here so it's a little smaller so it doesn't take so long to upload it to YouTube and then we'll start here with the, the next lecture.